got your food for you. Big scoop of seeds. I really don't want you sitting on my furniture though because you you bite it. Look, we've got the light behind us or in front of us, so it's a bit dark. Hang on, let me turn around. That's better, isn't it? Here you go. Here's the seed. Don't bite my hand, that huge beak of yours. Well, that wasn't very polite. You're getting it all over the floor. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh, look at that. No, don't do that. Let's put it over here. Come on. We'll put it over here. Put it in here. There we go. You're acting just like Scruffy acted. Are you Scruffy with new feathers? Hmm? There's no other bird that acts like that, that takes food right out of my container except Scruffy. But he looked really Scruffy. Are you Scruffy? We'll never know. Maybe it's Scruffy's back with new feathers after being away for a couple of seasons. Who knows? Are you Scruffs? We'll see what happens tomorrow if you come back again, hey? <laughs> he sure is acting the same way, isn't he? All right, I'll see you tomorrow. G'day, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back to my studio. If you're in isolation, hi, I hope you're doing okay. I hope you're not getting too bored. Um, I'm not working very much. I only had six hours this week, so I'm painting a lot. Um, I'm going to do a ring pour. Uh, but before I get started, I'll show you a couple of my previous paintings that are dry now. This was the purple and pink with black and white. So this was the area here. I love those cells there. Just love them. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then I did another one, similar colors, but I added turquoise, which is this guy. It turned out really pretty as well dried nicely they always dry nicely I don't have any problems with them cracking with my glue and water mix so that's it there lovely little set aren't they it's gonna fit in will it fit in <laughs> here we go right, so that's them let's put them back over here to cure I don't want them sort of on top of each other yet they might stick canvas today for my ring pour because I like doing squares when I do ring pours otherwise you end up with like an oval don't you this is a 40 by 40 centimeter or 16 by 16 inches and I didn't want any cells um, I'm just trying this I found this in my little on my shelves there I, I can't even remember what I made it up for but sometimes I make up these I write on there what it's what's in it and so anyway I'm gonna give it a go it's got Floetrol uh, Liquitex Gloss Medium, GAC 800, and Liquitex Pouring Medium. I think it's gl Liquitex Gloss Medium. Mm, I don't know what other gloss medium I've got, but anyway, so that's what I'm going to use. It's And I've made my mix pretty thick. I'll come up and show you. Do you want to see? It's way thicker than what I would use for uh, flip cups. Let's just see if that'll focus. Look at the size of that mound. Really, really thick. Oh, it's a bit hard. So see that ribbon still sitting there? That's still sitting there and it's still sitting there. So. You know, if I was doing a flip cut pour, it would be gone after th well, 
three seconds ish so it's still sitting there <laughs> pretty thick um, now I don't want cells hopefully I won't get cells and uh, these are the challenge colors at the moment for my Facebook group pouring your heart out uh, so we've got yellow orange red a dark red and then like a dark purpley color I'm using all not marked uh, let me show you this one on the end here was it's actually a mix of purple which some places call it violet but the new bottles that are coming out say purple it's the same color uh, purple with a little bit of magenta to make kind of a plum color and this one here you can't get this one in Australia yet I had to buy that one from overseas it's called mauve or mauve I don't see it I see mauve as more of a lilac but anyway that's it there mauve this one is crimson and then we have orange and medium yellow there's also a lemon yellow which is very bright it's more of a canary yellow I didn't want to use that um, I've got my jug this is exciting I hope it works but yeah I was doing a big clean up this morning as you do when you're home with not much to do you try and do something constructive don't you I have a plan I say okay today I'm going to wash the dishes I'm going to do a video I'm going to clean up my studio um, and then that's for today and then tomorrow I might organize the furniture in the doll's house that I've got so I, I find I need to have like a plan of, of things to do and then I can tick them off accomplish that for the day uh, I have got 60 grams of my pouring medium that I showed you that was in the bottle and then I put in 70 grams of paint because I wanted it a little bit thicker so I want to do two layers so I'm just going to pour in half I just hope I've got enough paint here half of that I think that's half And my orange, red, I guess I could do three layers, but I'll go with two for now because I want them, I want the nice, quite big layers. And then the purpley color on top. And then we go back to the yellow. I find if you make your layers too thin, the colors really blend. And you, you don't say, oh, there's my yellow layer, you know, there's my orange layer because they just all blend into each other so much because the mix is quite, well, because your layers is quite thin. So I do like to have thicker layers. But we'll see how it goes. Maybe I should have gone three. <laughs> There's always a next time, isn't there? I've got some more of that pouring medium. I don't know if I've got enough, but I actually don't know how it's going to even go in a ring pour. It might not even work. I'll leave these cups here in case I need to do them again. I won't stack them in on top of each other in case I have to do it again. So what's everyone doing while they're stuck at home, hey? I hope you're all well though. I hope no one's sick. I don't actually know anyone that has got the virus personally I don't know anybody but you know I was just keeping my distance from everyone at the moment um, if I have to go to work you know I go to work and I come home um, yesterday I did have to pop out and grab some groceries but I should be all right now for a, probably four days it's really dog food that I need to go and get actually got the last two boxes of dog food yesterday hopefully they'll restock so my dogs have raw mince in the mornings with some canned food and then in the evening they have these little chicken balls which is in also in the pet section in the fridge with some um, canned food and they always have dry food out um, but yeah, I've got the last two boxes of the canned food. So people are 
stocking up on that as well hey thinking of themselves and for their dogs make sure they've got enough food for everybody for at least a month anyway right uh, let's go rings hey now if you're finding you're getting too much of one color on the one side you can rotate your rings I guess and turn it the other way but I want to just see how we go with just this one way I might have to get a little bit closer I think because I'm getting more of a getting more of a ribbon than I am of a ring there we go I think I've got it now into the routine did you see how it is kind of going wobbly when it starts doing that then I know I have to get closer to get more of a beautiful circle ring happening otherwise it's just kind of wobbly I'm trying to keep my hand straight I was tipping it then the paint was kind of coming out the side rather than going down the little spout I'm trying to see what I'm doing, so I'm turning it towards me so I can see. So as it slows down now, keep going, but just go slower. So I want my yellow to come out now. See, the yellow is right in the bottom. So whatever goes in first is going to come out last. So I want to keep going as long as I can and get some more of that yellow out so just little circles nice and slow and you have to get down low 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 and then when you're ready try and catch it <laughs> without sticking your finger in it look at my jug it's really pretty Still got quite a bit of yellow in the bottom there, but couldn't really get any more out than that. So it's looking quite reddish, isn't it? Probably because I didn't have very much yellow. Now, where that's done that, see that little thingy there? What you could do if you wanted to is just put it back into a circle with um, your little skewer like that if you want to you don't have to but you can if you want to now I don't have any extra paint I figured this was going to be plenty um, and I don't think I'll torch it either because it's probably going to pop bubbles and then I'll end up with little dots now Tricky. I don't know whether I should go around in a big circle first or go off to the corners first. I usually do a circle. So let's do that. That's what I usually do, just to open everything up. Now I've got more on this end than this end. So I'm going to go in a circle again and kind of push the paint this way. So it's just sort of kissing the sides and then I can hopefully go off to my corners so the weight of the paints here at the moment so pretty much all even almost so I'm going to go off to this corner first and I'll turn it So you can see, I'm going to try and aim it that way. Just going to go slowly. This is the problem you have when you're doing ring pause. Everything starts going off the side before you've gone to your corner. But it's just how they are. That's why you have to make sure you've got enough, enough paint. Maybe if I can just wet that a little bit, it might help. Yeah, so to make sure you've got enough paint that you can actually, you know, push the paint over the 
the corner and then back to the middle. This is where it's important to come back to the middle each time. Otherwise you're not going to keep your rings. Okay, so now the weight of the paint is back in the middle. Um, yeah, I might as well go off that side, hey? This pouring medium seems to be looking nice at the moment. But you see where the weight of the paint is, so just move your canvas, you know, to suit. Help it a little bit so you're not losing too much paint. Back to the middle. I'll turn it round. Back to the middle. So the weight of the paint was up here where my thumbs. Actually, I'll turn it around so that you can see that oh, that way. So you can see where the circle is. It's up here, the main circle. I need it to be there. So let's do that. Get that middle circle in the bottom. Shoot fly. Okay. And then I'm going to... See, I'm losing some here. So I thought, well, I'm not going to tip it any more that way. Even though this, I'm not quite in the middle. I was losing paint off the side there. So I'm going to go that way. Turn it so that you guys can see what I'm doing. So, you know, in theory, it's good to, you know, get the paint back to the middle, but it doesn't always work. Just encouraging that paint to go there. And as soon as it's over, stop, come back. Got my hands. <clears throat> um, now, bring the weight of the paint back to the middle a little bit and I can go off to that last corner I hope I don't lose too much of that because that's gorgeous there that um, dark purpley color with the the red that's amazing that down there look at that what's taking over the orange although you know if I didn't have the orange it would be quite dark hey so I'm not gonna go oh I've got too much orange or I've got too much something but if you don't have it <laughs> then you've got too much of something else All right, my weight of the paint is still too high I need to bring it back just a touch and then I can go off to that corner you want the weight of the paint to be here so it goes straight down and I'll just help that along I don't want to lose all that gorgeous colour there, but I do need it to go over the edge so it looks neat. Right, are we over? I think we're over. Yay! Now I'll just bring it back this way. Take your hands over so you don't drip. Now this, all the way to the paint still up here on this corner. So let's just move it down a bit because it won't dry evenly if you've got a lot of paint like in one corner. Wow, look at that. How it's opening up there. My gosh, that is so pretty. I love that pouring medium. It's just kept the colours <clears throat> separate and really bright. I might even do three layers next time. It's just that, you know, this is quite orange here. But then you look at that and it's more yellow up there. I'm glad I did. I do have some yellow. Uh, there's little bits of it through here. Yeah, I'm really happy with that, you guys. I guess the only bit that I'm not really that happy with is this here, where it's kind of got a little bit muddy over the top. Look at those two colours orange hmm I don't know if I can tip a little bit more of that off see once you've covered everything you can look at it and go oh I want to you know tip a bit more off that way or I want to go a little bit more that way I'm just going to open it up a little bit and just try and get some of that 
reddish orange off the bottom because I've got a lot of it and that'll open up all of this not too much though I'll keep a close eye on it actually you know what I'm not going to change my mind I'm allowed to change my mind aren't I because what it's going to do is going to open up that yellow too much I'm going to have too much yellow it's going to bring the weight of it back again it was all up here where my thumb is wiggling. I just took it up there. So I'm going to take it back down again. And don't feel as if your middle has to be in the middle, you know? It doesn't have to be. That circle doesn't have to be in the middle. Just playing with the composition now, working out where I want it to. I'm going to take a little bit of that orange off the bottom there. Come around here so I can see what I'm doing. I'll try and just get that little line to go. I think that will be enough. I'll bring it back. I just rather have. Oh, I shall turn it around so you can see what I'm doing. It's because there's a lot of orange on the other side. So I took a little bit of orange off this side, and then it just opens up the yellow a little bit more. So I've got yellow on this side, orange on that side purpley on this side. That was my reasoning anyway. And you can take, you know, take a little bit off here and there and that'll open your rings up. Right, I think that's enough, hey. Don't want to open them up too much. So I would have this probably on the bottom. Oh, love that corner. Wish I had that corner more. They're each different. Okay. So I would actually, I'll leave it like this because that's the way I would have it. Look at my hands. Loving this pouring medium. Getting a few, you know, little cells up. You always do get a few up. And get rid of those gloves. So when you're doing ring pours, it's really important that you have enough paint. Like you saw how much I lost off the sides trying to get to the corners. And you have to get to your corners. There's no doubt about that. So you have to make sure that you've got enough paint so that you can get to those corners. Just putting a little bit of paint in here where I haven't quite gone over that corner. Going up underneath. Make sure all my corners are covered. Yep, you're covered. You're covered. And this side, make sure that's... I just clean that off like that, you see. Otherwise, when I pick it up and move it over there in front of the window so that I can um, take a photo of it, I get covered in paint and then it drips everywhere while it's drying. So, Alrighty. Really love that. The only criticism I would have is maybe reducing the amount of orange and adding a little bit more of the purple because imagine if we had a little bit more purple in that bottom right corner there how pretty that would be that's the only thing I would say I would change so I may actually go again um, I think I'll stick to the two layers that worked really well I could actually you know you could see your rings um, and as I said previously, if you make it your layers too thin, 
they just blend and you can't actually see the layers, the rings. Let me turn off my bright light. There we go. Come around. I'm going to turn off that light as well. Everything looks a little bit kind of glary. There we go. <laughs> oh, still got a light above me, but what can you do? What can you do? Still a little bit glary. Um, alrighty. Let's have a look. Still looks much lighter through the camera than it is. It's quite, quite dark. Just a bit glary, I guess. If I come around this side, oh, no, that's worse. <laughs> All right, let's just get this over with. I don't know where to show you where I haven't got light coming in. Look at that, the centre. I guess my yellow, see how my yellow's not as defined as it is up here? So you can see the rings there, individual rings. Haven't got that with the yellow. And it could be because the yellow may be a little bit thinner than the other colours. But look how it blends into those other colours there. Yellow and orange and purple. Wow, look at that. I'm going to have to do that for my, my little picture for YouTube, hey? What do you call those things? Still not picking up the actual the true colour, it's a bit light. But you can see the layers, the rings. I've still got my cups there, my empty cups. Hopefully I've got enough pouring medium. And uh, I might go again and just add a little bit more purple although look <clears throat> you know done it once move on to something else hey <laughs> although it's just my personality you know I want to keep going and going and going until I get it right but hey I've got it right I love it I don't know what I'm complaining about I love it all right have a go at these colors if you're not already a member of the Australian uh, pouring your heart out with Julie group please join as yourself, not as your business though, not as your business page. Um, and then put this, put up your painting. Go to events um, and the group challenge will be there. We have one every couple of weeks. So this is this fortnight's one anyway, these colours. All right, take care everyone, stay safe. I'll see you on the flip side. Bye for now.